All right, uh, this is the new experimental driver from NVIDIA that enables smooth motion for 40 series cards. I don't know about 30 series, but 40 series uh, in this experimental driver is working. I can confirm it because I uh, can see the differences and feel the differences. My headroom is a lot higher. And uh, also, let me give you guys the full effect here. Uh, my headroom's a lot higher, probably about 70%, well, not 70%, what am I talking about? I'm at 71% headroom right now loading in. And during uh, flight, I'm usually hovering around 60, 50 to 60% headroom on my CPU, which is fantastic, by the way. Um, let me just turn on some lights here we'll get going in a second all right beep trim everything's on all right yeah 62 percent headroom right now on my cpu 24 percent on my gpu and i'm using 76.669 percent of my vram at 10.3 gigs so uh yeah And I haven't changed any settings other than the driver and uh, enabling smooth motion. And uh, also I set my smooth motion settings to the no man's sky parameters because there's a smooth motion, uh, another button or drop down that you can uh, click. And I set it for no man's sky because I figured it was the best match. Alright, I'm going to stop talking now. But the VR mirror should be super smooth. Whereas before, it was not as smooth at all. It was jittery, especially when I was speaking, so I'm going to stop talking, I said, like I said. Yeah, I'm at 60% headroom, 62%, 24%, and 10 gigs VRAM, 9.9 .9 gigs now. Image quality is fantastic. Um, using DLSS, still using reprojection, but artifacting is better than it used to be. Well, especially when you're just, you know, spinning the camera on. I don't usually get any artifacting when I'm not, you know, swapping cameras or spinning around like that. But yeah, this is just a quick example video of smooth motion affecting VR mirrors, which is great because the VR mirrors sucked before. Well, it didn't suck entirely, but it wasn't as good as I had it in Microsoft 2020. In 2024, I was always struggling to get the mirror to look as smooth as it does in VR. And I think this fixes it for me. Yeah, even panning the camera around is a lot smoother than it used to be. Yep, 63% had 65 66% CPU headroom. Holy crap. That's awesome. And again, only using 66% of my VRAM, 9.9 .9 gigs. I have a 16 gigabyte card. I have plenty of VRAM, plenty of headroom. 
which makes sense because smooth motion works by reducing your frame timing, which means better headroom. Or better headroom means better frame timing. Yeah, I did some city flying earlier. It was uh, excellent, nice and smooth. I'm just doing this quick little video just to demonstrate how smooth now my mirror is. It is like night and day. VR performance, excellent. 2D performance is probably gonna be so much better, but I don't fly in 2D, so the mirror is the best 2D you'll ever get. The only time I'll load it up in 2D is if I'm doing a, uh, like a, a replay video or something like that, or like a flyby video. But I don't fly it in 2D, I just, you know, do the replay in 2D. No stuttering, super smooth in VR, super smooth, so much smooth, yay. All right. 